us to do this next one, and uh, there's a little bit of a long-winded story behind it. I'm going to impose it on you a little bit uh, and uh, take a minute out to promote a book of short stories that I wrote a couple of years ago. It's called Island Characters, and uh, it features 33 stories all about uh, some notable Prince Edward Islanders, uh, people that I feel contributed something special to island life. And there's a character in there that I'm going to highlight in this next story and song for you, a guy from down in St. Peter's Bay. But I have to ask you a question. Does anybody out there remember the Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestlers? <laughs> I, I did say wrestlers, because they're not wrestlers. Wrestlers are the kids that they send off to the Olympics every four years. I'm talking about wrestlers. <laughs> Guys like Leo Burke and Big Steven Pettipaw and the Cuban Assassin. Guys with legs on them like tree trunks. Arms on them like stovepipes. Chests on them like John B. Webster now. Right. These guys, uh, a lot of them come from over in New Brunswick and they had uh, their wrestling show and it'd be on television here every Saturday afternoon and we'd park ourselves in front of the TV and we'd be watching these wrestlers. But what would happen in the summertime when the ice came into the rinks, these guys would take the wrestling show on the road, they'd go around to all the different uh, arenas and put on a wrestling card, you know? And uh, the story I'm gonna tell you about now is about one summer one of these wrestlers got a hold of a real live bear. A great big black bear. I don't know if they got them from the zoo or the circus or where they come across them but they trained him to be a wrestling bear. They took him on the road with the wrestling show this summer, and the big promotion was they'd offer a prize for anybody who would get in the ring and wrestle with this bear. Now, as you guys can probably imagine, they didn't get too many takers on that offer. But one night, I went to see the wrestlers. I used to get after my father something fierce to take us over to see them at Iceland Arena in Montague. Take us over to see the wrestlers, Dad, or as he liked to call them, the fakers. <laughs> anyway, we, we, he took us over this one day, and they had this bear in Montague, and there was one man brave enough, or crazy enough, to get in that ring with that bear. His name was Bobby Fraser from St. Peter's Bay. He lived to tell the tale. But he doesn't tell it near often enough, so I wrote up this song and I tell it for him every once in a while. I'm going to tell it to you guys here tonight. This is one called Bobby Fought the Bear. There was a poster on the light pole near Stedman's parking spot. It had the name and all the faces of the most unruly lot. You read it wrestling, coming to a town near you, next stop Iceland Arena in the town of Montague. Now the special star attraction was not the Cuban or the Beast, it didn't look like Leo Burt or Leaping Lanny in the least, and the caption read there was a cash reward for any man who dared step into the square circle to face the wrestling bear. Now rumors swirled about the bear on lead up to the day. They say he damn near killed the man at the rink in Cap LA. It was agreed by able men that neither man nor beast could scare that no man with an ounce of sense could wrestle with the bear. So that night we cheered the wrestlers on from in the stands, but when they let the bear out, a hush came o'er the fans. But one man stood up proud and tall, without a fear or care, when Bobby stepped into the ring and said, I'll fight the bear. The night Bobby fought the bear, boys, every mother's son was there. All that we could do was sit and stare. Some turned their heads in order, other men whispered a prayer. Back on the night that Bobby fought the bear. Wow. 
anger he made his end because the bear stood like a tower when he took his fighting stance and Bob rolled up his sleeves and hiked the waist up on his pants then Bobby squared off with the bear who raised an awful growl and someone yelled from ringside for Pete's sake throw in the towel the killer to post and tooth and nail those two went toe to toe while we look on scored the note or if Bobby won the prize. But some would say insanity is courage in disguise. You might think I made this up, but plenty of folks were there to witness legend born the night that Bobby bought the bear. The night Bobby bought the bear, boys, every mother's son was there. Yeah, we thought we'd need the ambulance to part of the 